So we're here at Durbanville Golf Club and we're going to be doing a three hole course vlog. It's more going to be just me narrating my kind of thought process and why I do certain things just because I'm an average golfer and I feel like that would be quite interesting. Here we are at the lovely Durbanville Golf Course. So to start this off, it's a hole 12, it's 172 meter par 3 and my game plan was kind of just to take the water out of it and hit an easy 5 iron and try to land it on the left hand side of the green. Luckily I did try to do that because I ended up hitting a cut and I ended up just short right of the green so put myself in a position to try and get up and down from there. The goal from here was to just pretty much get up and down. I hadn't had a chip on course until then so basically I just took a sandwich and was trying to give myself a chance to kind of get up and down and have a, a pretty straightforward putt. Nice. Was pretty happy with that attempt. Um, Might have pulled a little bit but actually left me with a pretty straightforward putt from there. Maybe a bit of a knee knocker but luckily I just managed to finish it off Good there part. and move on to hole 13, level through the first hole. From hole 13, the interesting decision started to come into play. 300 meters, short par 4, any normal person would have been like, let's take a 3 wood, maybe an iron off the tee, and tries to get close. Not Michael. He decides to take the big dog, hits it left, and hits a tree as well. So. His approach shot into that green is going to be from under a tree. Good job, buddy. I was actually very stoked with the outcome of that drive for two reasons. Firstly, I ended up in the shade, which is always a treat. And secondly, I got a really lucky break and actually had a really good look from there. But unfortunately, Michael still managed to end up super short. And I had a pretty long putt for birdie, but... At least it's on the dance floor. From where I was, I probably should have done a little bit better. But looking down at this putt, I was, saw an uphill putt right to left. And after taking a lot of time and effort to read this putt, I forgot to Beautiful. hit it. <laughs> so, unfortunately, yeah, I had a tap in par, which I almost missed. And we are all level going on to hole 14. So after my lovely drive on the last hole, I had so much confidence that I thought, let's take a drive on the next hole as well. I kind of actually maybe need a drive on this hole because of the the really uphill approach shot. Thought I hit it well. Ended up floating with the trees on the right. But yeah, basically ended up missing the fairway on the right, but it could have been a lot worse in those trees looks pretty scary. Well, this is one of the cooler holes at Durbanville Golf Course. It's quite fun, it's pretty inclined approach shot. So I thought a pretty strong pitching wedge for me would get there. Unfortunately, it ended up just short and started rolling back down the hill. Um, so I actually left myself with a pretty difficult up and down chip from there. At least it looks like I got a bit of green to work with. So, just needed to try and stick it close. Got pretty good contact on that ball and left myself with pretty easy putt, but after my last putt, you never know what could happen. So, yeah. Luckily, drained it and all level through three holes. Yeah, to be honest with you, a little bit messy, but overall, it's still great just to be out on the course and I'm level par, so stoked about that. Hope you guys enjoy enjoyed the video. Please remember to comment down below if you guys have played this course and yeah, maybe where your next round is. And remember to subscribe to the channel. Helps a lot. Check you guys soon.